Hello friends, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to programmatically set up a WhatsApp API. It's quick, it's easy, uh, a lot of the stuff is just copy and paste. It's all open source, you don't need any technical knowledge. The only thing you need to do is follow the previous video or the other video of setting up Coolify and a VPS and NA10. So this step and these three, okay? Uh, <laughs> you can also make WhatsApp, you can use WhatsApp business and you can use WhatsApp personal. So perfectly fine. Uh, it goes through and uses, uh, it uses the sort of a plugin in NA10 and you're able to automate WhatsApp. Let's say, so you send a submission and you want to contact somebody on the, the phone you want to do reach outs to people on WhatsApp, you you can just use the system. Okay, so we're just going to get right to it and just show you how. Okay, so in uh, Coolify, and you know you have your any 10 set up. Okay, you want to go to your project. So let's say my first project, you want to press new, Docker compose empty, you want to copy the file that is in the description. And uh, when you have that copied, just put it in here. <clears throat> just, I'm changing this here, but when I send it, it's, it'll have, it'll just be the, the correct one. So you won't need to change this, but just make sure this is Waha latest, not Waha plus. With Waha, the non plus version, you get just one session, but you'll see what I mean. Um, yeah, just press save. Now that's sorted and set up. Now we need to give it uh, a domain. So we will go to our domains and we set this one up for us. So we'll just copy this. If you want to create a subdomain so you can uh, access everything, just make sure you, you know, create subdomain name it whatever and then you know make sure the settings for that DN the dns settings for that subdomain point to the correct place for the a records so when you do put it in it will go to your resource okay so we go to settings we just put it here uh this isn't... okay main hero you can name this whatever you want i just do that for these videos okay uh that's good now we want to copy the environmental variables as well you need to change these for your domain okay so if you have your url as you know the one that you have in your domain uh that's fine with the dashboard as well, you need to change the password, username, you know, so other people don't have your information. Uh, certain features are in different things, but we'll just use no web. Um, same with these uh, settings here. So we're just going to copy this. Go to environmental variables, developer view. Uh, then we will simply press save all environmental variables and now we will be able to simply launch it okay so while it's downloading that waha what's that uh na10 integration so waha have a community node or where is it here it is they have a community node for na10 and all you do is copy this which says install waha um na10 node and as you followed through with the the last uh video while this is downloading and, and, and deploying you can go to na10 uh that's uh mm, 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 mm. UK. and uh yeah so go to settings 
community nodes. Install a community node. I understand. Yep. No problem. Love it. Uh, then that's going to be installed. Still downloading and installing. So we can close this. And we see that this is here. Let's just make sure it is good. Yep. Nice. We have Waha. Waha trigger. Waha trigger. Uh, just refresh. You make it. A yeah, it's a duplicate. That's fine. Uh, so that's all sorted. That's all good. Okay, our container is starting. Okay, and we just make sure it is running as intended, like it's uh, up and running. Nice. So now it's here. We can access it with our link. So if you forward slash dashboard. So this is the dashboard. Now, because you're using just Waha, you're not using the plus version, you're only allowed to link one session. But, you know, I mean, it's it's fifteen dollars and then you need to maybe buy it every six seven months uh again to get the update but it's fine so now go on you know once this is all set up we need to link uh whatsapp so we're going to use whatsapp business so go right here for the worker, press uh, restart worker. Okay. Uh, okay, that's fine. This... Hmm. Okay, we restarted this session here. Uh, it's actually the session we have to start, so that's fine. Press uh, screenshot forward slash QR. Press link device on WhatsApp on your phone. And then what you want to do is you want to scan the QR code. Okay, now that is linked. Uh, just, you know, give it a name on your phone. That's fine and good. That's all working. So now we go to NA10, we do Waha, and let's say send a text message. Uh, press create new credential, and then the URL is the URL from here. So just the first, you know, uh, before dashboard. Copy, and then your API key is the environmental variable you have here which is, you can set this to whatever you like. The API key is Waha123. Let me press save. Nice, nice. And for the session, it's whatever this name is here. So you can't change this, I believe. And you can't make a new one. I think you have to delete it, but right now we'll just, we'll just do default. So put in default. And then let's say I would like to send it to uh, myself. So let's uh, use this testing line. Uh, you have to do it in this format, by the way. So it's country code, uh, like, hello, this is a test. This is the format of country code. And then, 
Yeah, or chat ID. Oh, sorry, I have to put that in the right place. <laughs> okay. So, let's... Just, let's bring it up on the other screen. Uh, so that's linked, just chatting. So we will put this on the screen and then we'll put it here and test step. Let's see. And you'll see that it can now send messages programmatically. So let me tell you what that means. Okay. So let's say I have my test flow here. Let's say I would like to add a node of form. Now, this uh this could be a form from a type form it could be something you know um testing this could be a form on your website it could be a trigger for something it could be scheduling it could be updates it could be a notion update a google sheets update but this is just a yeah <laughs> just um yeah so let's say we had a form element so let's say it's going to be a client name john uh required field and let's say we have another uh let's say a uh phone number okay so like just whatever so phone number <clears throat> okay required field so we're going to press save. Okay. Now that is a test version, but where's the fun in that? Let's hook it up and let's, you know, have dynamic information. Okay. So let's, you know, get some, uh, we'll just test some steps, have some information. So John, and number is blah, 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 submit. So now we have test information, which is so incredibly nice, right? Uh, okay, so let's go to any tent. So we have this test information here. Let's say we would like to say, hello. I don't know why it's very laggy. Very strange. Hello, you know, John. Your number is uh this. Now this is JavaScript. Like you could use inline JavaScript functions to, you know, like process the data and sort of do what you want with it. Uh let's see you made this submission at there you go so now we will pin this data because we don't want to use new data for now just for now and then we will press test step now if we go to whatsapp uh hello john your number is the number we chose now let's see it in real time so we will make this active we will unpin the data so we can process new data and we'll use the production url of the form and let's say their name side by side so name uh alex uh the numbers one two three so now going to submit it and send it instantly amazing so you saw that the video is 14 minutes long, but you saw, you know, the previous step was, was like set up kind of quickly. Uh, and this is just show, this is a showcase and example. So uh, a lot of people were asking for this. So I thought I'd make a quick video on how to set up an API quickly, easily, straightforward. No messing and faffing about with the Facebook cloud API and to give you an actual use case now in the workflow 
you are able to just put in whatever number you want. You don't need to contact them first of all. You know, you can literally choose anyone's number on WhatsApp. And there's like 2 billion users for WhatsApp. So, you know, you can get their number and then, you know, put in your country code or get them to put in their country code. You could just have someone submit their phone number here. Um, and then, you know, it sends it. So you'll find uh, it's very dynamic. And, you know, if, some, if you have, you know, you want it to get sent to that person's phone number. So they send, you know, their phone number, then it sends it to that number. And yeah, so that is the, that's how to set up, you know, the, the WhatsApp uh, Waha uh, API and use it in any 10 uh, programmatically. So you can use this, you can scale it. I use this with my businesses. You know, if you're interested, just drop a follow. And, you know, hopefully this, uh, this helps you out.